Welcome. Let's look at an MA exam question where knowledge of percentages is crucial to getting the correct answer. I've got a question on my screen. Let's have a look. We have the company's sales in three markets. So we see market one doing the best, market two, second, market three, 45, third place, the total sales for the company, 180. Now, before we go further, we could calculate the percentage of each. If we put a column percent next to the monetary column, we know that the total of all would be 100%. And we could then arrive at the percentage of each market using basic fractional math. So if I wanted to know market two in percentage terms, I would go 60,000 times 100 divided by 180 is the percentage. And that comes to 33.3%. And that sanity checks, doesn't it? Because 60 is one third of uh, 180. But let us read the requirement now. And we see that we need to deal with a pie chart. In a pie chart representing the proportion of sales made by each region, what would be the angle of the section representing market number three? So think about that for a minute. How many degrees does a circle have? That's right, 360 degrees. Next, what percentage is market three of the total sales? Well, you know how to work that out now. Lastly, how many degrees is that percentage of a circle? That is the solution we're looking for. So we know that market three is 25% of the total sales, and then 25% of 360 degrees would be 90 degrees, the answer we are looking for. So ladies and gentlemen, that's a quick look at how percentages can be used, in this case, indirectly in an MA question. You need to know the difference between percentages and degrees.